Hi, and welcome to my curls. I'm doing a little video today, a super quick video for two reasons, basically. Number one, I wanted to show you my hair. I have it in a ponytail today, so you can really see the gray. You can see how far it's grown back, and I'm starting to get some grays underneath here, so it's, uh, yeah. I'm realizing I'm really gray here in the temples, darker right here in the center, and I'm getting this fuzzy gray stuff happening on the side, but it's up in a ponytail today. I'm just home. I'm cleaning house. I'm going to go out in the yard. Um, I have some work that I need to do up in the office, so it's up in a ponytail, but I wanted to show it to you. But the second reason I'm doing the video is um, the past couple of videos I've done have been about food. I've been in my kitchen, and you all have asked some questions that I wanted to answer, and I wanted to show you some of my very favorite things that I always have in my kitchen, and there are things, I guess, that I love to snack on and not really cook with, and if you're somebody who likes to try new things or just is looking for new things but doesn't know what to try, I thought I would share with you things I love. So here we go. As I said in my other video, I am a raspberry person. I eat raspberries every single day. I love them. I love strawberries and blueberries too, but for some reason, raspberries, they're just my thing. I get a handful mid-morning every day, rinse them off, and, and this is what I eat. If I'm not gonna be here in the morning, I take raspberries with me. I love them. Um, my second thing. Kashi cookies. Kashi makes um, cereal and they have all kinds of stuff. And, and I do eat some of their cereals, but we love their cookies. Their oatmeal dark chocolate cookies are fantastic. I can only find them at Kroger here where I live. Um, I'm not sure where you can find them, but Kashi. And their cookies look like this. Look at that. Look how thick they are. They're super filling because the oatmeal, fantastic cookies. You should absolutely give them a try. And they make other flavors too. Uh, they make a raisin one and a one with almonds, I think, but I haven't been able to find that one lately, but this cookie we love. All right, we also love these Blue Diamond Artisan Nut Thins. When I'm looking for, in the mid-afternoon, I always want something crunchy and I want something salty, like chips. And I don't want to eat chips all the time. So this is what I go for. My husband and I both eat these. And this is what they look like. They're just paper thin little crackers. Um, they're not super strong in taste. I mean, you can, you can get the multigrain uh, taste in there. They're slightly salty. They're very crunchy. And three or four of these will fill you up. You, it, they will satisfy your afternoon craving and they're the perfect replacement for a chip. And they actually make a flax seed and a sesame seed. We love the multi-seed. The sesame seed's pretty good. Don't love the flax seed, but you know, hey, but these are fantastic little chips to have around. I also like to dip them in hummus, like in the morning or with lunch or something. It's a great snack. Dog. Dog's gonna bark. Hold, please. Well, I'm back. There was a delivery man at the front door, so the dog had to let him know all about it. So, anyway, where was I? Something else I love is these Thomas Bagel Thins. And they look like this. They're a super thin bagel. They're cut in half already for you. I eat one half and I will pop it in the toaster and get it good and crispy and I'll put cream cheese on it or I'll put a scrambled egg on there with a little cheese. But something else I love and I actually had this morning is this natural peanut butter. Natural peanut butter, if you have never had it, y'all, you have got to. Like the stuff you're getting out of a jar um, that you feed your children is you just gotta have this like I can't even say enough good things about it But this is a brand new bottle and you can see there's oil at the top But once you open the jar for the first time and you mix up that oil You don't have to do that anymore, but natural peanut butter is so good and once you've had it You will not go back to eating the other stuff We love the Smucker's brand. It comes in creamy. My daughter prefers crunchy So I just kind of get whatever but I put it on my bagels in the morning with a little bit of banana and a drizzle of honey. 
My daughter takes it a peanut butter and honey sandwich to lunch. Like this is the absolute best stuff. So Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter. There is nothing in this jar except for peanuts. It's fantastic, so give it a try. Okay, and that takes me to the one thing that I have to have in my life. Like if you said to me, Renee, I'm gonna drop you off on a deserted island and you can take one thing, what would it be? It would be this, it would be honey. I absolutely love honey. I eat honey every single day of my life. I have honey in my coffee. I have honey, um, it can be in my oatmeal, it can be on my bagel thin. I use honey when I make sauces and marinades. We use honey when we grill. My daughter puts it on her sandwiches. At night for dinner, like instead of a dessert, if we've had French bread or something, I'll put honey on my French bread. I absolutely love honey. It is so important in my life and so important that I even have these little honey sticks. Look at that. I take them with me if we're traveling. If I think that I'm not gonna be able to get to my honey for my coffee in the morning, these little sticks go with me. And you just snip off the end and they're the perfect amount of honey for your coffee. Um, I try to pick up local honey when we're traveling. My daughter goes to school in Savannah, Georgia and they have um, a honey company there. So she brings me home honey from Savannah. We go on vacation in the winter time. We go to Puerto Vallarta every year. And the first thing I do is go out on the streets and I find my little guy who's selling the local honey and I get a big jar of honey and I eat it. Like, I just gotta have honey. If you have never put honey in your coffee, you absolutely, absolutely have to try it. Like, it is a game changer. I don't put sugar in my coffee. I don't put the flavored things that you get in a bottle. I put honey and a little bit of half and half, and it will change your life, like no joke. Honey, super important. So my last thing that I want to show you that we love is this. It is chocolate covered espresso beans. We love them so much that we order them in a 10 pound box. Look at those little babies. Um, they come from a company called Albany's Candy, and they're in Indiana. They're a family-owned candy company. And so we used to carry these in our ice cream shop. That's how I became addicted to them. And we don't carry them anymore because who knew, but people don't want to buy chocolate when they're coming in for getting ice cream. It's okay because we learned about these. They actually come in milk talk chocolate and dark chocolate. You can get on their website. You can order them by the pound and have them shipped to you they are fantastic. So I'm always throughout the day snacking on a handful of espresso beans. One handful of beans is equivalent to like a cup of coffee, caffeine wise. So you don't want to eat a ton of these, but I'll eat, you know, 10 or something mid afternoon or in the morning and they give you that sweet, they give you the crunch because the coffee, you know, the espresso bean inside, you get the caffeine. So you're energized. I mean, they're the perfect little snack. Whenever I go somewhere, I put a little Ziploc baggie of espresso beans in my purse. And when we travel, I actually take them with me too. Like I can't do without my beans. When people come to our house, guest, and they try the beans, they end up ordering the beans and we will send espresso beans to friends um, as gifts in the mail. So they're fantastic. You cannot beat chocolate covered espresso beans. And I'll put a link to the company's website below in the description so you can find them because you're gonna wanna get some beans. So I hope you liked me kind of doing a rundown of things that I like to keep in my kitchen. They're literally things I cannot uh, live without. They're staples in our house, I get them every single week and if we are out of one of those things i kind of go into panic mode so i hope you enjoyed it if you like what you see on my channel welcome to my curls please subscribe hit that little bell notification so that you never miss any videos and comment below the video let me know what you would like to see let me know if you've ever had any of these products or if you love any of these products i would love to hear from you so until next time see you later